And a warm welcome to Frankfurt, the home of the Deutsche Bank Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Werder Bremen. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. And here's the initial 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. And this confrontation is underway. Schmidt. Marvin Dux. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Jesper Lindström. Here's Gutsen now. Well, that is how to nullify the opposition. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Marvin Dux. Schmidt. Well, racing past his man. Mitchell Weiser. Weiser. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Gross. Is it going to be? Vital intervention. Max. Return to Gutsu.
Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Mitchell Weiser are being pressed here. Out of play and a Frankfurt throw in forthcoming. Koro Muani. Now, who can he play it to? Max. Failure to keep the ball by Eintracht. Wonderfully weighted pass. And the danger still on. He must finish. Oh, that was begging to be put home. But the goalkeeper has it. Well, Frankfurt haven't had that much of the ball so far. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Oh, a nice looking pass. Reading it well. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And Bremen regaining possession. Marvin Dux moving forward effectively must be oh terrific save well you're absolutely right that's a top class save just look how he reacts Played over. Well, there it is. The first half comes to an end here in Frankfurt am Main. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Good, sir. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Bitten court. Well, successfully cut out. Marvin Dux. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Jesper Lindström. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. A oh, tremendous vision. Good, sir. Being egged on by the crowd. Terrific block. Real chance. Still alive. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Favouring the short one. A 
and possession lost by Frankfurt. Phil Krug. Into the advanced position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Another play for a Frankfurt throw in. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Mario Goodson. Philip Max here. And possession ceded by Di Launa Shadiva. Can they square the game? And saved by the keeper. And a substitution in the offing. Well, the short corner routine. Able to get a body in the way. Textbook defending inside the box. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Determined defending. Now can they make something happen? Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Well, there to intercept. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Weiser. And a throw in for Werder. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Could cross it in here. And the counter-attack is on, options available. All hands on deck. Opportunity it is. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Two nil now, and back underway. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Target. Anthony Jung. And there goes the final whistle. Home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice incisive play too. It's a good result for them. And a very productive day at the office for Mario Götze, you've got to say, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?